Uh, hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. If this video hits 1500 likes within 24 hours, we're giving away $100 worth of crypto, and all you have to do is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you comment something down below. And having said that, guys, there were so many people in my comment section of my XRP has decoupled video saying, uh, show your proof because I don't believe that XRP is actually decoupled. All I can say is watch what is in front of your screen right now and I can rest my case. Why? Well, in this case here, you can see Bitcoin, Ethereum, XTZ, XRP, XLM, ADA, VET, Zill, Doge, Algo, and Link. Personally, all coins that I hold, except for Doge, but I just thought that one would be interesting because a lot of you guys do hold it. These are my main holds, though. I think I couldn't think of any other one. Maybe Polkadot I could have looked for. However, these are the main ones, right? I put them all in here to check the correlation, and what I noticed is that when you put in XRP, you notice that that one out of all of them is the only one that has a negative and very different correlation. I mean, all of these look generally the same. Uh, maybe Doge is also a little bit different, but XRP is really, really different to all of them. Logically, though, it is because, first of all, they had a lawsuit going on, so they're acting quite contrary to the rest. But second of all, it's because they actually go up at different paces than others, and really in different, just whole lengths. The severity is just really, really different. You know, and the correlation basically would also show if Bitcoin were to go up by one, how much would XRP go up or down by? And in this case here, for Bitcoin and XRP, it's basically a 0.18. So if Bitcoin were to go up one, XRP would move, for example, 0.18. Theoretically speaking, we could just say it's something like that. It's just to give you guys an indication, right? They have about 0.18% the same type of move. Let's just keep it at that. However, generally for XRP, most of these pairs are very negative, meaning that these coins, for example, go up. Well, XRP actually goes down or stays rather similar or does nothing. In this case here, it's a very small correlation. It's a minus 0.0. 0, 07, meaning most likely it just has nothing to do with each other. That's definitely possible as well, but it is at least a negative one. However, again, if you know anything about correlation, you'll know what I'm trying to say here in the sense that, um, by the way, this doesn't have to mean that Bitcoin goes up one and XRP goes up point, uh, for example, 18%, anything like that. It's just basically the points match for 0 0.8 or for 18%. That's basically the easiest way to put it as. It's, it's a little bit hard to explain because I don't know the easiest way to put it and I don't know how you guys know correlation or not, I don't know. But let's just actually look at here because this is maybe the easiest thing to show. A positive value indicates a positive correlation between two values. A negative uh, shows a negative, of course, and a value of zero in case there's no correlation between such two variables. However, if it's a correlation that is really close to zero, like for example here, 0 0.10, uh, 0 0.03, all this stuff to me basically means nothing. There's literally no correlation basically between all these crypto and XRP. Literally. And this is this these are just the numbers. Now you might add, okay, but Dusty, this of course is not the truth. This not doesn't really work because they got sued and thus the price would go down. Yeah, but that still adds to the correlation. It still adds to the fact that while all these other coins were going up, XRP wasn't doing that. And now that all these coins are acting differently, XRP is again with huge margins. And you can kind of say the same thing about XLM at certain paces. However, XLM really does follow the market still. You know, take a good look here. It really follows the market still a lot more than XRP does if you actually take a look at how the price has moved over the last couple of days. A lot of people have been quoting this and commenting about this, but I I've just really found it out now that the correlation is just really, really crazy right now for XRP, and it's something you should understand. Now, if you're wondering what should I do with that, should I trade it, should I buy it, should I sell, that I cannot tell you guys. Why? Well, because I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not a fortune teller. I cannot know for certain where we're going to go, especially that I, since I know that right now we're in kind of a sketchy situation i mean 35 cents was a very good sell-off point if you already got the chance to on the contrary though depending on what type of analysis you're doing we might actually push forward on the other side of things i like to talk about that since we tested the top side of the zone we can actually try for the next one possibly if we actually close above there the daily could be positive on the contrary it's like well we can say that but there's really a lot more downwards pressure on xrp rather than upwards like even though the price is acting positively because of one most likely news aspect, generally speaking, the price should be down right now because they have an ongoing lawsuit, which can really destroy the coin. Another fact, of course, to add is that in a week or so, Coinbase is going to 
for example, halt to trading, it's important to understand that they will not delist, and most platforms will actually not delist XRP. A lot of them will just halt trading, and some will actually stop deposits too, but they will not stop withdrawals, and they will not stop you from holding it on their platform. There might be a couple of ones doing that, really, but in generally, no. And also, there's not that many funds who've really quit XRP altogether, because most of them are of the approach of like, well, let's see if it is a security, and if it is, we'll stop. Same for all these exchanges. It's just a couple that are like, well, let's just stop it right now because they're afraid with Coinbase, for example, because of their IPO and a couple of others because they just don't want to take the risk in some way, shape or form. Uphold, however, came out and said this is just a very hasty approach, trying to dim down the system. And I still think to a certain degree, this is all a targeted attack against XRP because it's so strange why they would delist it for such an accusation. If the SEC were to just accuse all cryptos for it with no proper backing, but just literally just accuse them all. Literally, all these exchanges would have to stop all the trading then in the U.S. If they were to be alleged, right? Which can happen still. Because it can be that XRP, for example, is not a security. And then all of a sudden, they're going to try all these other currencies. Or even if XRP is a security, they're just going to try all these other currencies. And basically, exchanges are going to have to halt all of them in due time. Because they're such wussies. I don't know. It's really strange to me why they, why they kept doing all that stuff. But all right. On a side note, make sure you check out 5 Minute Crypto. It's my second channel, but I'm going to try to upload a video on here every single day. You guys are already subscribing like mad. It's crazy. But still, you know, we can get to 2,000 today, I think. If you guys all hop on over, we need 120 more or so, right? That could be done. So head on over, go subscribe to it, or maybe recommend it to some friends who don't have much time to get into crypto. On the other side, I also have the business realm, right? And that one might be a better recommendation for people who are just getting into crypto because I'll post a lot of cool tutorials on there for everybody who's, you know, not understanding some stuff. So please leave some recommendations down below as to what you'd like to see. I'm going to make a video, for example, on how to buy and sell crypto because I still notice quite a lot of people don't fully understand how that works. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Then also GSX, I talk about this sometimes because I personally bought it, doesn't mean that you have to too. I put a couple thousand dollars in because I think, hey, you know what, let me try it out, let me test and see what happens. It's basically a coin that is backed by gold, it is not out yet, which is why there's crazy bonuses, which are going to be going down in a couple of hours. And there's also a 5% bonus for using my link, they also have introduced staking now for 1, 2, and 3 years. Again, you may think about it what you want, I personally have bought some, and that's all I'm saying, alright, so that is that. CEO's delight, Ripple XRP has low correlation with Bitcoin. This article is from two years ago, but, you know, I think I find it really, no, I shouldn't say I think, I just find it interesting how in all this time, really, the, the idea hasn't changed that much. The only thing that has really changed within all this time is the fact that it just wasn't lining up and it was really all over the place in terms of crypto adoption. Things weren't really properly. Right now, though, look at this. XRP is up 40%. The other coins are really, meh, meh. You know, no, no, not that many coins are in a plus 10 Rather plus 20, none of them are. So XRP with this little CBDC document, I think is what caused it. It really did some wonders. Um, I don't really know exactly why it did that. And XLM is actually still above XRP prices at this point. But that's still a little bit of a battle, which XRP will ultimately win. And even though I like both, I like XRP more personally. All right, and I'm pretty excited for the price. Anybody who's claiming to know what the price is going to do right now, though, I think is just guessing or lying. As, as of this point, it's just impossible to really prove anything. Really. You might say, oh, but look, right, we had a, let's let's pick, quickly pick it up here. Oh, look, we had a resistance here, and thus we're testing, now we're testing the upper side of the zone. You see, we got out of there, so we're just testing right now. All of that makes sense, but to a certain degree, it makes no freaking sense, because this lawsuit here was just a dump, and there was no real back into it. You couldn't really say, okay, it was going to stop right there or there, even though it hit it perfectly, because that's, again, at 70 cents, where a lot of people wanted to pick it up. That is not the same for the upside, right? This was like an 80% correction, so it's logical that at some point people are just going to pick it up regardless. On the upside, though, it's really difficult to say at what point this is now shifted to or, or it's going to change towards unless we really stay above this zone from now on, which we didn't. We, we just broke above there, but we are back in, which will most likely close in or maybe even below it if things uh, turn out to be bad a little bit later. It's just going to be very, very difficult to say exactly what's going to happen from here. Uh, in the sense that there's not really any proper backing for a price move. It is definitely overbought as of this point, and the price should correct downwards a little bit again, which uh, is why I said 35 cents might be a good point to sell. On a different note, right, which is why I'm not being so conclusive about it, what happened to Stellar is something that I would like to also show you guys here. 
Oh, let me quickly show Stellar. What happened to Stellar is this about here was when the partnership with the CBDC was announced. And this is the next day, and this is the next day, and this is the next day. You see that, what I'm trying to say? Like the price just went completely crazy a little bit afterwards. And it's also broken the correlation with XRP as it just went down consecutively. And also this is a really sketchy chart. Like this is too freaking perfect. You see what's happening right there? That's so crazy. It's so strange what's happening here. So much manipulation, I personally think. Uh, but for XRP, it's a little bit more obvious what exactly is happening. And... Yeah, it also broke, I guess, its own trend, its own pattern. And hopefully we can now finally break this little trend that's been going on and get above there and get going. But it's not a certainty. It's not a given as, well, there's generally quite a lot of negativity surrounding it. I also wanted to relate this to the dollar, but that uh, thing was deleted from TradingView. It said, pay attention to the US dollar. It is very important price point. I wanted to say, like, I do believe to a certain degree that people, because all the US... Uh, Congress, no, what is it? What is the name? Um, cap capital situation that was happening yesterday. Since that was going on, I, I kind of feel as if people were also more interested in XRP and crypto in general right now because, first of all, they know the system is messed up, but second of all, they know you don't really want to trust all these intermediaries and payment providers uh, on the outside. You just want to kind of have control over your own money, and XRP is really basically the newer generation of money. So maybe that's also what really enlightened some people to get in and hop on. But that's only my own guess, right? I cannot know for certain. I'm just really excited about XRP, and I don't know what's going to happen right now. If you guys know, though, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, I I'm not placing any bets right now because it's really a very sketchy and scary place. It's definitely hard to say. But XLM, XRP, decoupled for sure. I'm uh, I'm very positive. You might say once more, okay, but they're following Bitcoin, right? I don't really think so. I think these moves are quite independent still. Even though if Bitcoin were to go down like crazy, they'd follow, uh, most likely. But then again, even if Bitcoin goes down, it could be that XRP gets another surge upwards because of this, this latest news and this latest trend, basically. But yeah, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody.